Hi, it's Michelle Ockers and it's day 14 of the Learning Rebels 30 Day Brainstorm Challenge. This is my reflection on what I've noticed during week two as a result of participating in the challenge. So this week I did six posts. I missed day 11. I've something special in mind for that day and I want to take a little more time to do it. It'll be a bonus post in the coming two weeks. Um, so I did five videos, five blogs and one written post on my WordPress blog, the first written post in six weeks. So my level of activity in narrating my work and posting work publicly has definitely increased the result of the brainstorm challenge, which is great, part of my fresh start with PKM and working out loud. So what have I posted on this week? Day eight was portion control via vessel size, basically areas in my life where I've reduced the size of space or time allocated to them as a result I'm freeing up more space and time for other areas in my life that are higher value. Day 9 I posted about understanding pain points. Day 10 on the need to be heard. Day 12 trying out lean customer development and day 13 was a blog post about using Snapchat for professional development. So what I've noticed this week is that I'm trying out new things. I've wanted to vlog for ages and that's been my primary method of sharing during the challenge. The other thing I've been trying out is Snapchat, which mixed, mixed feelings about at the moment, mixed experience, it feels strange and uncomfortable. You can, I'll post my link to the Snapchat blog post below so you can read more. But what I am finding is that the two are a little complementary in that I'm learning things as I use Snapchat about being more succinct in video because you only have 10 second bursts of video which I'm then applying I hope to my vlogging and becoming more succinct. I'm building up my vlogging skills and my videoing skills so some of the things I'm focusing on this week is I've incorporated screenshots for the first time, paying a little more attention to lighting, using a range of um, physical locations to shoot in. I'm using a tripod today so where am I seeing vlogging and video fitting into my PKM process? Predominantly as a sense-making tool, which is also the way I'm currently using Snapchat and, and experiencing the benefits of Snapchat. Um, posting, narrating my work as I do it uh, has been the key benefit for me and thinking through in my vlogs, reflecting more on my work and then I'm using that to inform my work almost immediately this week. So this week this theme emerged for me um, around stakeholder and user relationships, engagement and user research and I'm applying that immediately to a project I'm working on, a community of practice toolkit which I did vlog about in my day 12 post, trying out lean customer development. Um, so finding the whole process very helpful with sense making and then immediately informing the work I'm doing. I am very conscious that although videos are much quicker for me to make and post than blogs, they are probably slower for many people to view and consume and consider. Um, so I think there's a place for both video and longer form writing in my narration of my work um, and in my PKM and Working Out Loud toolkit and I'll continue to explore that through the challenge and beyond.